Like millions of other Europeans, Donald McGrath's day begins with a trip to the petrol station to fill up the company car. But that's where the similarity with other drivers ends. Donald works for the city council in Cork in the south of Ireland. And the car he's driving is powered by locally produced biodiesel. Our biodiesel is located from a local company here in Cork, from Grow Isle in Bandon. So they, their, their local farmers in the area grow the rapeseed crop. It's then cut and processed in their processing plant. And they then distribute it around the county at the moment. So we're obviously one of those end user customers. Cork City Council is taking part in a project called BioNet, which is funded by the European Union's Intelligent Energy Europe program and supports small-scale local networks across Europe that bring together farmers, biofuel producers and users. You want farmers managing the countryside. You don't want countryside abandoned and everybody moving to the city and the countryside not being maintained, whatever. So that's a key part of sustainability. And then Rapeseed offers the farmer um, a chance to continue their crop rotation with the cereal crops that they're growing for the food chain, that sort of thing. Biofuels like biodiesel can help in Europe's fight against greenhouse gas emissions. When they're burned, they only release back into the atmosphere carbon dioxide that was removed while the plants the fuels are made from were growing. European Union governments have pledged that by 2020, biofuels will account for at least 10% of Europe's transport, diesel and petrol consumption. They must be produced in a sustainable way, without having a damaging impact on our soils, water and air, or on biodiversity and the world's forests. And developing homegrown biofuels should also help the EU to reduce its dependence on foreign energy supplies. Bulgaria's well-established sunflower oil industry means many of the raw materials for producing biodiesel already exist, and the Intelligent Energy Programme is helping the country turn this potential into reality. Проблемите по отношение на биогоривата са абсолютно същите, както в останалите европейски страни. Просто ние започваме малко по-късно развитието на биогоривата от останалите европейски страни. Както и при тях, така и при нас, трябва да се формира култура на потреблението на биогорива чрез различни информационни кампании и политически мерки. In Spain, one of the country's biggest renewable energy firms, Acciona Energia, is working on an EU project with industrial partners, including Spain's biggest traditional oil company, Repsol, to develop new standards for biodiesel. It's very important to have norms of quality, and in this case, the norm of quality of biodiesel, because these norms of quality measure what are the parameters that we have to meet to avoid having problems in the vehicle. It's very important to have norms of quality of biodiesel, and in this case, the norm of quality of biodiesel, Many experts argue that due to the growing demand, new additional sources of raw materials will be needed to produce the biofuels. And the EU is already backing research to develop a second generation of biofuels, made from waste vegetable matter. For example, scrap wood from the forestry industry, or residues from agriculture. Biodiesel is certainly no magical solution to Europe's energy problems. And it certainly shouldn't be used as an excuse for not reducing overall petrol or diesel use. For example, by favoring public transport over private cars. But if the EU can meet the biodiesel challenge, the Union could just find itself on the road to a cleaner, greener future.